Hey there everybody, Drac here. Uh, just wanted to go over a nice little interaction I found with the Medusan Spellbow. It's a nice item that gives you a hefty experience boost when you kill, as it says, uh, an enemy with with it, or when you fell a foe. So if you're the Waif war Warfarer class, not Wayfarer, Warfarer class, you can equip weapons, you know, like, of everything. So if you're something like the sorcerer here, who has a uh, a girl flare, and it's a delayed reaction ability, hit hit him a couple times, Oops. and then you switch your weapon back to say the spell bow here. I think that'll be enough, pride. Well, let's hit him a couple more times. That was a thousand five hundred experience. Which is the multiplied amount, which is a pretty chunky little amount of experience for one of these enemies. I actually don't think I have another one around here. But that's four times the experience of what I would normally be getting if I uh, just killed them as my sorcerer. See if I can't find another, another one that's just hanging around. Wanted to give an example of with the bonus and then without the bonus. But of course, I chose only one <laughs> that was kicking around. There's probably more somewhere in the cave up there, maybe. Is there really only one lizard down here? So I assume this uh, interaction with the weapon works with any other kind of delayed ability? Oh, wait. That's a regular lizard. One's gonna be a lot less. Let's get this spell on him, though. That's 200 and something. 256. Ah, wait. Wait, pawns. Do not interrupt me. I'm fine. A couple little injuries. At least when you tell them to wait, they do. Now, if I equip the spell bow, he dies. That's uh, a lot more than 256 right there. I kind of am unsure of the actual experience that you do get increased from this bow. I noticed it's kind of like three to four times, somewhere around there. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I just know it's a lot more. So it is kind of, uh, it's nice. Nice to power level your character, anyways. Oh, and if you're wondering where I got this weapon, it's the Medusan Spellbow there. It was over here. Pretty sure this was the cave. I have a little waypoint there to teleport and uh, kill the Medusa that is hiding in this cave. And she respawns every couple days. I don't know what the drop rate is for this, but it is a pretty... Pretty strong bow for just the regular archer class, too. <clears throat> Might be one of the strongest weapons I have currently. I got lucky and got it the first time, and now I've switched to the Warfarer class, and I just keep keep switching over to this bow every time I'm about to kill something. Because it just gives so much experience. I've also equipped the Erupting Shot. Is if your pawns kill something you don't get experience? Remember back when those guys killed me in one shot. But it makes it even when you're killing like the lower level enemies that you're getting a decent chunk of experience. Now where is this ticking coming from? It's from the secret token. So, if you were looking for a way to level your guy up really fast, even if you don't have the warfare, as long as you have the archer class, you can get this Medusa bow. I mean, from from the main town, you have to go all the way around, down, and over. 
to here. So it's a long jaunt if you're just starting out. So this is kind of like later to mid to late game kind of leveling up, I guess. I would definitely invest in getting this weapon though if you want a power level like three to four times the experience gain it's it's massive i thought the uh i thought the uh ring that i got from the uh, sphinx's side quest there thought the 50 percent was like oh yeah that's huge <laughs> and then i got this bow and now well, that ring is dirt but I, I still have it equipped because it's giving me more with this as well. <laughs> so I'll probably equip two of those experience rings because there's a lot of levels you need to gain in this game. Been having a good time with it. <clears throat> I've used some mods to just get rid of the tedium from it. So I don't have to do inventory management, which I do like. And editing where all the secret tokens are. Because I've... I've played too many recent games that have like 5 million collectibles that you have to collect all of them or you're missing out on stuff. And it's like, we're not going to show you where any of them are. Have fun. And then you have to do one of those dumbass interactive maps, which is just a pain in the ass because then you don't remember which ones you found, which ones you don't find. This little mod is nice because it just, you find the token, you pick it up and it's gone. Among our number. So yeah, I just wanted to share the interaction with the, uh, the bow. I haven't really seen too many people talking about that because I'm not sure how many other, I mean, I know one other interaction that's kind of delayed, but that's the erupting shot from the archer class. So you don't really need to switch to that bow from that. And I don't know if there is another spell like the, uh, Augural Flare, where you just cast it, you hit them a couple times, and then you switch weapons, and then they just explode. Where is this little thing? What's oh, up there? I need to get that. So I thought it was kind of neat. It lets you kill the magic only enemies pretty easy. Pawns could just kill these guys, I don't really care that much. I fuck me. Sure. Fall damage. I was I did not have a lot of help there. I am pretty tired because it is later in the day, so that video is done. I'll post that. Eight minutes is a shorter video. I have not been streaming lately, guys, and I'm not sure when I'm going to start again, just because I've been super busy with everything that's been going on and looking for a house to move into instead of renting has been super stressful. So I'll probably get back into streaming once everything's kind of figured out, which might be a couple months. <laughs> because we're going to have to pack up and move our shit again and either into a house that we're going to be buying or into a place we're going to rent for a couple more months when we try to find a house we're going to buy. The market here in Canada is dog shit. But if you guys have had any interesting interactions with uh, some of the items in this game, uh, share your opinions with it. I'm kind of interested in like all the neat things that are in this game because there is there's tons of little things that uh, it's just neat to find them and uh, figure out how they work. And I like how this game doesn't really hold your hand as you're uh, going around exploring things. You just kind of you kind of go there and figure things out on your own, which is nice. It's a good feeling. I feel satisfied after that. So, see you guys later, and uh, hope you have fun with this game too.